Greetings, all praise King Selassie. And yes, I, this is why I men find it necessary to separate. You know, you read the Old Testament and they say, don't mingle with the tribes. And you was thinking, you know, does that sound, does that sound right? Could that be right? And then you come to see it is right, it is right. Because otherwise, you're stuck, you're stuck, man. And you know, we don't wanna be stuck. So we're gonna keep moving forward, this time, right now. Now, speaking about the word conspiracy, it's being thrown around frequently and it's one of these words now, it doesn't really have a universal definition. You know, you know what the dictionary says. All right, we're gonna look it up in a minute. But the point is, is that people don't necessarily interpret words based on their technical definition. You know, when somebody hears a word that they've never heard before, a lot of times they, they make an attempt to interpret that word based in the context that it's been used. So, you know, they can take all the words around it, right? Form a idea about what the message is and, you know, s make an assumption as to what piece is missing. Now, <clears throat> there are some words this is the English language that are interpreted contrary to the definition. And conspiracy is one of those. Um, subtle, you know, but there. And this is because of the context that has been used. Um, so, the formal definition, according to the Oxford Dictionary, so this is the English language, is a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Now, that's only the first definition. The second is the action of plotting or conspiring. Now, if you look up the word plot, and I already did, it says something like, you know, secretly planning an illegal event. But the verb plotting actually says that these could be any series of events, including plays and theaters which is what generally most people would consider, you know, a plot in a novel, a plot in a movie. However, the definition includes the acronym, etc. And based on that, it's limitless as to the description of the you know, characteristic of the event, whether it be for entertainment, whether it be for war. So the point being is that it does not have to be illegal. And according to the second definition of conspiracy, the word illegal is not even present. So whereas most people interpret the word to mean something negative. Conspiring doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. You know, I and I people conspire to move out of Babylon. Maybe Babylon will charge us, but does that mean we're wrong? You see what I'm saying? You have to take into account who writes the rule. And in this case, Babylon is writing the rules. And so, 
they're going to say, if you accuse us, you're bad. But if we accuse you, you're bad. Yeah. Conspiracy has become the new crazy. That the Christ, having been accused by the Pharisees of casting out devils through the Prince of Devil, he is above. Which can be interpreted as the Pharisees having faith that the Prince of Devils was able to empower people to perform miracles. And even the Christ having said that John the Baptist was accused of being besides himself and the Christ having eaten with sinners. So this is not new, that the framing of people in a, a dark shade is a common practice. And that should not be, you know. Arguable. What's happened now is that people are being grouped together so that the prejudice occurs against someone without even hearing what it is that person has to say. In the Latin term, this is called ad hominem. But, you know, the man doesn't have to explain himself if the people aren't asking any questions. And so, if the man can kind of, this is like, if somebody comes and they make a, a piece of artwork, you know, a mural on the side of the wall, graffiti. And it's beautiful, it's got all colors, the message is there, it's got a portrait and stuff. And then someone comes along and just psh, puts a line through it. And one line, that's it. It ruined the whole piece. <laughs>